So I thought it was a little ironic. I got a hotel room last night and look at the room they put me in. <laughs> I'm about to head down south. Here we go. South Florida bound with the pops, the, the man, the myth, the legend. <laughs> it literally it all started here. Yes, it did. It all started right here. Yes, it did. So here's Payne's Prairie. We're driving over it. This is, I was out here with you guys the other day, but yeah, super expansive. Expansive. I was way over there, like you can't even see. I was like around those trees, way off in like the northeast corner of it. But at a place called Alachua Sink Trail. So yeah, here we go. So we're on the turnpike right now. Traffic isn't the best, but that's typical here in Florida. Um, it's Friday afternoon. So people are probably traveling for the weekend and stuff, you know? But yeah, with the old man and we chilling, boy. We chilling, boy. No, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> I'm with the pops and he's <laughs> driving. Say hey, say hey, pops. Hey, pops. Hello, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, dude, stop. You drive me crazy. No, you're not driving me crazy yet. Not yet? Not yet. Alright. You still have plenty of time to drive me crazy. Plenty of time. Facts. Traffic on the turnpike. Staying positive though. <laughs> So the traffic is just back to back on the turnpike. We haven't even made it to Orlando yet. Yeah, we're outside of Orlando. We're, yeah, we're out. That's probably why it's so bad right now. Yeah. But this, I mean, this this could happen anywhere. Yeah. It could, it could happen on Route 95 South. It could happen anywhere. Yeah. Be out here though. Yeah, it really is. So the Everglades is down that way. Yep. To the right. Yeah. So it's about 7.30, we've been driving for hours, the traffic was really bad, but we're, we're getting down there slowly but surely. Right now we're heading east, and we're about set to turn south and head right down the coast. So we're coming across the state, and then we're going to head south down Route 95 to Pompano Beach. You heard it from the big guy. Captain Dad. Captain, Captain Papa. Raining. Typical Florida weather, Welcome honestly. Florida. <laughs> right? Absolutely. Yeah, so we're getting down there slowly but surely. Now it's raining. It was real sunny. We got about an hour north. Hour north. I'm gonna see my uh, stepsister that I haven't seen in like 15 years. I'm excited. It'll be cool. She's been doing really well. She's like a realtor now and show producer. Yeah, my stepmom and, and obviously my stepsister, they're Brazilian, so they're from uh, Sao Paulo, Brazil. So she's doing Brazilian show? Like what kind of show is that? She brings in musical acts for the Brazilian communities. Oh, that's and, cool. And uh, she does some Brazilian events through South Florida. She's become pretty well known for it. She does a great job. Oh, cool, man. Yeah, so yeah, that's so cool. So yeah, she's got like cool. her own like little Company. Production show, yeah, wow. production uh, company. Yeah. Awesome. I just saw a streak of lightning. Wow. And the otherwise clear sky. Right, that's wild. So, yeah, you guys, you guys will see everything. I'm looking forward to it. Summer weather in Florida will become. We can anticipate rain almost every day. Usually, this is a little bit late for the rain. Yeah. It's usually, in the earlier in the day. But just the fact that we got like quite a bit of. That. I think it was just the uh the windshield wiper? Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Anyways. Anyways.
so we're down we're, we're driving through West Palm Beach now um, so the ocean yeah is over here to the to the east and the Everglades are this way to the west and yeah it's starting to get dark and yeah in Miami and Key West Florida straight ahead yeah Miami Key West Florida that way um, we're heading south still um, hope everyone had a good Friday and yeah staying positive loving life chilling with family and making memories later oh yes there is no it's not there's no lights on <laughs> there's the beach right past those condos is the beach guys and there's my dad's building right there with all the lights there's the ocean. There's that lighthouse way out there if you see it. <laughs> Pretty cool, dude. I know. I thought you'd get a kick out of it. <laughs> Me and my dad are out at a, a restaurant slash bar by his place because they play uh, live music out here. So we got down here like, I don't know, like an hour and a half ago. We're just chilling. But yeah, having a good time, man. Having, uh, I've never been to my dad's uh, condominium before. So I, haven't lived, I haven't been down here in so long. I lived down here for like a year at one point, but that's it. But yeah, driving in his Jeep with no doors, no windows, <laughs> no nothing, no roof. But yeah, all is well, guys. I'm down in South Florida. Love you. Hope everyone's having a great evening, great night. All right, bye. Yeah, it's gorgeous, huh? So down there, that's the intercoastal waterway. They live right by the beach. We're on the top floor right now. Trying to be quiet because his wife is still asleep. But look at that view, guys. So cool. Right? Really? Okay. Just woke up. I'm still like half asleep. But, it's gorgeous. It's crazy, man. Crazy. Crazy nice? Yeah, it's cool. Oh yeah, this is all different. Right now we're going to, down to see my brother on his uh, Coast Guard base. He's a Coast Guard captain. So I forgot my stand. I don't have my stand, but my brother's being super cool. He's actually like the captain of this ship. He's, he joined the Coast Guard when he was like, he enlisted as soon as he was of age, you know? They sent him straight to Alaska at first, but 
So we're on base and he's letting me come see the ship. I've never seen one before in person, you know, it's pretty cool. They usually patrol like South Florida, like the Bahamas and, and you know, there's a lot of migrants that come in and a lot of, uh, you know, trafficking. So they do a lot of that stuff. And yeah, he's been, he's been doing it for a while, long time. <laughs> There's my dad and him right now talking. So this boat right here, they'll launch this boat when they need to like intercept people or, you know, do whatever they're doing. I've seen some really cool videos. It's pretty cool. Oh, pretty you like this? Yes, it's cool, man. <laughs> You should send me like some cool videos of you guys doing yeah, stuff. Dude. Can't? You can get on our Instagram and pull stuff off that way. That's already publicly. Yeah, released. that's what I was I thinking. Can't send you anything. That's, that's not. So I just go down there? Yeah, that's right. Cool, man. <laughs> wow. So cool. So you guys just kind of launch this down and. Yeah, the stern gate will lift up. And we'll, you know, right here, that was what we started. Oh, yeah, I see. It out and pull it in and it was just, this is wow. Like boarding, so for it's kind of what I was thinking, yeah, if you got a board or. Yeah. Wow, man. So that'll open up, that hatch, it lifts up. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I see that. Pretty cool stuff, man. This is way super official. Like, I'm not used to this kind of stuff. <laughs> My brother, this is pretty cool, dude. Wow, dude. So cool. This is Drew. This is one of our. Let's go with Drew Forrest. Nice to meet you. Yes, sir. Dennis. How are you? I'm the old man. Oh, this is so cool, dude. <laughs> wow. So you get to sit in here and just Literally. go on an adventure. Yeah. Got like a checklist. You got it. Yeah, yeah. He's doing GPS verification. Oh, wow. So cool, man. This is like a one once in a lifetime opportunity, bro. All right. But, like, watch this. All right, so say we want to look at this boat. shoot a laser onto it and get the range so it's 1800 yards so you know exactly how far yeah wow man could you do a thermal thing with it too yeah but not during the daytime no, it's not good yeah 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 thermal just it, it hurts the ir uh camera you want to see it here yeah oh so you can have guests yeah like your old man Promising you can go on a, 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 yeah. a voyage with you. I know you. Yeah. You got stuff you gotta do. Yeah. My brother's cabin. Yeah, I can see this is the heart of the boat. The galley. When I was sailing, I'm like, I was sailing with anybody. I could not, I, the first thing I do when I get up for the cake, show me the cat. Yeah. We don't have any food. I don't need it. Oh, that's wild. That's some edges right there. It's so loud in here. You gotta keep these on. Cool. Three years. This is a fun game. This is a fun game. This is a fun game. And then uh, watch them pull out of here. How about you? Yeah, that's cool. This won't be posted until either tomorrow or late tonight. So I think it's okay that I say this. So we're in, I'm on the ship right now on my brother's ship. And apparently some agents, some Homeland Security agents contacted them and said that there are some men loading up a boat 
with these uh, diaper boxes, but they're like slugged over their shoulders like they're super heavy. And the agents are watching them. They think they might be guns. They might be running guns from here to the Bahamas. So they're gonna go bust these guys. It's just so crazy, like what my brother does, you know? It's really cool. I'm so proud of him. You know, he's been doing this for, who knows, almost 20 years, I bet. Um, he's gonna retire in the next couple of years. But he was just so kind to let us come check this out, you know, and see all this. I've I've only seen pictures and video that he's shown me. I've never, you know, actually been on a ship or seen one in person even. So this is really cool. There's certain things I can't show you, of course, on the ship, but um, I've shown you every, everything I can. We're out on the bow right now, me and my dad. There's my dad's Jeep, his beach buggy. So yeah, pretty cool stuff. He was showing me his little rack in his, in his little uh, cabin, you know, bunk area. Um, he's talking about how like when it's really rough, what it's like to sleep in there. You know, they go out for days at a time. I think right now they're gonna be going out for a couple days. Uh, showed us the galley, you know, where they cook and eat. And he said it's really like the heart of the ship, which makes sense, you know. Food is, is a huge, uh, you know, it brings people together, you know, eating and dining and all that. So I'm not surprised to hear that. But there's some, uh, there's some cruise ships over here um, in port and, uh, you know, some shipping. Uh, the port, is it, what's it called? Port Everglade? Port Everglade, yep. Yeah, there's a huge uh, shipping port down here. Um, you can see the container ships over there. I don't know if that's actually Port Everglade, but yeah, a lot of commerce coming in and out around here and, you know, and a lot of crime. My brother was talking about, you know, they, they rescue a lot of migrants trying to cross from the Bahamas and Haiti and all that, you know, and, um, a lot of drug running, but yeah super cool stuff man i wish i i wish i'd taken the route my brother did sometimes <laughs> but hey i'm here i made it i'm on the other side now and it's a beautiful thing it's a blessing okay. um, I, I, the chief i think that's a little cruise ship pretty cool looking though or a cargo ship i don't know it could be cargo Brody would know. Yeah, Brody knows. So they're about to do a uh, what's called a nav brief. A nav brief, which I guess is uh, they're just gonna like talk about their mission and what they're about to do or where they're going and you know, kind of like a team meeting, I guess. This boat's really moving. You can't really tell, but it's rocking. I'm sure this is nothing. I'm sure it gets way worse. I get seasick. I yeah, probably would. I do. I get seasick. <laughs> remember we went off. Uh, yes, we went we, on a, 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 we we went um deep sea fishing one day and I remember we were I was like a teenager and then we went out there man. I just remember we were in the Gulf of Mexico and the boat was just <laughs> and at first I was loving it. I was up on the bow riding the waves, it was great. About an hour in, man, not so much. We're all throwing up. Oh, it was wild, but yeah. Uh, it wasn't as big as this boat. This is huge, this is a ship. So cool, my brother, he's just so lucky, you know. We're all so lucky, I mean. We're all here on this planet, you know. Learning to be better people it's all about hope everyone's having a great day I've never been to a Coast Guard base this is my first time on base pretty interesting stuff it's funny because you know before all this he would never let me come out here this would not have been happening if I wasn't doing better you know if I hadn't changed my life I'm surprised honestly that he let me come out here 
I mean, I'm not surprised, but I'm just like, it's a treat, you know? It means a lot. I know it, it, it he doesn't take it lightly, is what I'm gonna say. But yeah. So cool, man. So this right here is a water taxi where they like drive people all around the waterways of South Florida, like Fort Lauderdale, Miami area. Pretty cool. A lot of canals, you got like the intercoastal and then like some of the neighborhoods down here behind the houses, they have canals. So like they, each house has its own little dock and you can like ride jet skis through the neighborhoods or boats or whatever, you know, it's pretty wild. It's way different than the Midwest where I'm, where I'm living now. Oh, it's just beautiful down here. Here's my brother up there on the bridge. Sticking his head out the window. There's that guy. <laughs> They go they're taking off going to the bahamas man so cool man later bro gonna go serve the country guys that's my brother so there you have it a tour of a real life coast guard cutter and this coast guard cutter man of war they've received tons of awards um they're like as far as like interdictions and search and rescue and all of that stuff uh they're like the top ship in florida in the state of florida um their numbers are the highest so they're the highest performing uh crew and ship in the coast guard down here so it's pretty 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 big stuff honestly i would love to have that wouldn't that be so cool through the, the channel out to the Atlantic and then they'll be out in the open ocean. Head over to the ship, it's a 90 foot uh, cutter, 90 foot ship and, and he, he showed me all around the engine rooms. I'm going to show you guys a lot of it. Uh, certain things like the armory and just certain other things I can't show obviously, but yeah, pretty neat stuff. Once in a lifetime experience right there so thankful i know i don't know but i hope he watches this and if you watch this bro i love you and i appreciate you and thanks for showing us this all right guys on to the beach or the next adventure here we go i think that's my brother way out there you can kind of see the mast of the ship tail so when they're being chased their tails will fall off hopefully to distract whatever predator is going after them so he lost his tail he's starting to grow it back though Let's see if i can get a shot so you can kind of see it really cool sorry dude My dad loves his beach mobile. Got it for a steal. Took all the doors off. Now he just drives this thing around. Loving life. Right, Pop? Loving life. Right, Pop. <laughs> <laughs> So we're going to this little, uh, it's called the Whiskey River Hideout. It's this little restaurant right on the uh, 
right on the water. It's kind of back here in like the mangroves. Pretty cool. Oh, so cool, man. This is so cool. Oh, look so at the man. Cool. Look at the. Uh... That's a mangrove. Yeah. Out of the water, but it is a mangrove. Really? Yeah, that, that some laboratory monkeys started a, a colony and that there were wild monkeys in this area. What, they released them? Uh, I think they got released and they really enjoyed themselves. <laughs> I wish you could. It'd be great to camp out here. Great place to come for a family getaway, though. Huh? And the Eiffel Tower is only 4,557. <laughs> Nassau Bahamas is 192 miles. Wow, that's where Brody's headed. He's heading out that way right now. So cool, man. Montreal, Canada is 1,393 miles. So this is the little um, restaurant that we're going to. It's like, uh, you know, it's right here on the water. You can rent kayaks and stuff. It's pretty cool. So this, where is he? There's two. This is a banana spider, I believe. There's one. Oh, there's one, two, one, two three. three. Yeah, there's a few of them. You can't really see them on camera. If you come this way, you can see the light flicks on the back of them, like right here. Oh yeah, that's a good shot. Some big banana spiders. So what they do is they spin their web and in an attempt to catch bananas. <laughs> yeah, they eat bananas. No, they really don't. They do not. They call banana spiders because they're yellow, I believe. Yellow and brown. So these things get huge, man. So many times I have walked through webs and gotten them in my face. I will say, like, I'm not a fan of spiders. I love all creatures. But spiders are just not not my jam, but it's all good. Hate to walk through here at night and not know that there's all these spider webs everywhere. Did you get grilled mahi? Yeah. So that's a fish. <laughs> really good fish down here. I got grilled chicken. And some street corn. Mm. Oh wow, look at that dude. Oh that looks good. Wow. Number one. Can't really tell, but that thing's huge. I'm moving back to Florida, guys. I do not <laughs> want to go back to Wisconsin at all. Seriously, I'm, I'm moving back to Florida. I'm not sure when exactly, but I am. So we're down in Pompano Beach at the Welcome Center. And this is actually, this is a sculpture that my father did kind of one that he did for the shipwreck park that they sunk. Pretty cool stuff. It says, all those seeing their reflection are reminded they are also responsible for helping preserve our precious ocean reefs. down here right now at uh, the Pompano Beach at the uh, public pier. We're coming out here just to kind of sightsee and he was just showing me at the uh, Welcome Center. They've got some of his uh, artwork in there. They've got a statue that he did uh, of Mermaid that I was just showing you guys. It's, it's related to the one that they sunk off the coast and uh, yeah, it was really cool. You guys will like it. But I'm out here right now. It's beautiful, gorgeous. 
the clouds in the sky, man. It's, just, it's perfect. I really miss it down here. I miss living down here. Definitely, definitely want to come back, you know? But yeah, look at that water, man. You can't really see it, but it's so green and nice. We used to do this all the time when I was a kid. Not the years. Yeah, the port that we were at was right over there where my brother took out of this morning. Look at that sailboat out there, Bob. This is our lighthouse, of course. Yep, here's the lighthouse. <laughs> nice. You got it? Yeah, man. Hey, it's a fish. Fish is a fish, man. There's some surfers down here. But honestly, guys, these are not the best surfing waves. Yeah, it's not very good. But hey, go have fun, you know. It's possible. So you got some people out here parasailing. Let me see if I can... There they go. I don't want to get these people in the shot, though. So you got some people out here parasailing. That looks fun. I've never done that before, though. Reminds me of that Jurassic Park movie, you know? <laughs> see so many sharks when you're up in that thing. It's crazy. Coast Guard helicopter. You can see the, the bottom out here. It's so clear. Don't really see any big fish, sharks, or anything. Surprisingly. I just got done saying there was no fish out right now. And this big guy comes by. Looks like a tarpon, maybe. I'm not sure. It's about four feet long, though. He's getting frustrated. I feel his pain. He's gonna catch one, though. He's gonna catch a wave, and I'm gonna I'm gonna film it for you guys. There we go. He did his best. That's all you can do. Your best. <laughs> I wish I was out there, man. I don't know. I haven't done it in so long. I might not be able to anymore. But yeah, I tried, and so did so did they. So you know how I was saying that a lot of the neighborhoods have these canals behind them? This is what I was talking about. So yeah, like houses will have their own docks behind their house and like the neighborhoods have these canals that run through and you can, you know, drive your boat around and they all lead out to the intercoastal waterway, which then leads to the ocean. So it's pretty cool. I've always loved that about, about this part of Florida, is how they have that. Like, could you just imagine growing up, going out back to your little dock, jumping on a jet ski, driving around the neighborhood to your friend's house, pull up on his dock, you know, that'd be so cool. So I just wanted to show you that. That's what I was referring to earlier. He calls this one feeding frenzy. So cool. The video, they, it doesn't do it justice, guys. This is my first time seeing this stuff in person, and it's just amazing. But it really, you, you can't, the video does not do it justice. This one is amazing. And you gotta, like, be here to really appreciate it and see the texture. It's just amazing. Gosh. 
Mm. So cool. So when I was at the prairie, guys, I was talking about these Doombot figures that line the walkway going into the, or used to, going into the Incredible Hulk. It's about six feet, six and a half, seven feet, man. It's really cool. But yeah, it's my dad's shop. Hey, what's up, guys? So it's 4.30 Monday morning. I'm getting ready to go catch my flight. Um, I edited as much as I could. Uh, I'm about to have to split it into two parts, but the rest will be up soon. I had a wonderful trip. I hope everyone has a great Monday, a great work week. I'm heading back to real life now. <laughs> it was fun while it lasted. Yeah, appreciate you guys, love you guys. And yeah, see you soon.